Thank you all for being here. Thank you for honoring us with your presence today on this, this very special day uh, for Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum uh, uh, celebrating the welcoming, celebrating the opening of our Welcome Center. I'm Pete Lesher. I'm Chief Historian for Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. I've been on staff here for 32 years and I'm your MC for the, the proceedings this morning. This is a momentous occasion. Uh, I would compare it to May 22, 1965, when we first opened our doors to the public. This is no less a transformational moment for the museum. And I will ask you to, uh, those of you who are not already uh, standing, to rise for the presentation of colors by the Easton High School uh, Junior ROTC Color Guard. Uh, that will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, led by our longtime volunteer with nearly 5,000 hours, our lead host, uh, uh, Mr. Bill Huff, and the singing of the national anthem by Deputy John Coleman. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free and of the home Thank you, Deputy Coleman. Deputy Coleman has performed the national anthem at virtually every momentous occasion around Talbot County and everywhere from here to Camden Yards. I'd like to invite to the podium uh, the Reverend Dr. William Wallace, Sr., the retired minister of the, our Union United Methodist Church here in St. Michael's and the, from the family of Deal Island Waterman, uh, yes. Reverend Wallace. Yes. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Those of you who have access to a chair, please be seated. As stated, I am retired and I may pray for a very long time. <laughs> 
Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum members and this welcome center. Dreams are the substance of which reality is chartered. Today we, we celebrate with those who dreamed, those who envision, and those who put heart, mind, soul, and body and finances into the making of the dreamer's dream a reality. Let us pause before the creator, the benevolent architect of the cosmos. For the gift of this moment and those to follow, we pause to glorify you, eternal creator of earth, sky, and sea. We, your people, pause to reflect and acknowledge the majestic nature of the seas. It has provided freedom for those oppressed, a livelihood for those who sought its bounty, pleasure and tranquility to those who navigate shallow shoals or ocean depths. Each shoreline inviting a new adventure and each hamlet a welcome and safe harbor. Keep us ever mindful that you are the Lord of the sea. Receive now our prayers of thanksgiving for those who envision a new Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum Welcome Center. May all who visit here be inspired by their vision, of the, uh, the vision of those who dreamt and envisioned a place and space where past, present, and the future mariners are connected and celebrated. We are grateful to those whom your spirit inspired to give generously, as well as those who share their skill sets and those who labor tirelessly to build this new ed edifice. May the CBMM be a harbor of inspiration for both seafarers and landlocked lovers. As we pause and, brow and gaze upon the memorabilia, may we celebrate those who sailed uncharted waters, be inspired by their courage, and may we emulate their accomplishments. May each adventurer, student, teacher, or curiosity seeker be enriched and informed by the displays and commitment of those who made this moment possible. We pray for continued guidance, wisdom, and creativity for the President, Board of Governors, Administration, staff, volunteers, and stewards of CBMM as they continue to be a vital instrument in preserving their heritage, ecology, and culture of the Chesapeake and its tributaries. So shall it be. In your sovereign name we pray, amen. Thank you, Reverend Wallace. I now want to welcome to the podium our Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum President and CEO, Kristen Greenaway. Good morning. Uh, we don't often get the weather, it's not wrong, it's different. All right, all right, darling. It's good. Thank you all for being here at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. We're honored to welcome you to help celebrate this next chapter in our history. Joining us today, representatives from the federal and state government, county and town. We welcome our community leaders, our mu museum members, friends, donors, board members, volunteers, and staff. I feel like I need to lend me your ears now. <laughs> Each one of you has had a hand in helping make this happen. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you. We started this journey more than six years ago. To create a space that oriented our guests to the Chesapeake Bay region, and most importantly, told the stories of the bay's rich history and culture. I'm proud to say that we achieved that and more with this remarkable building and its exhibitions. When you explore the new Water Lines exhibition, you'll learn more about each of the vessels, many 
which have never been seen before by the public. And the people who designed, built, sailed, and raced them. When you explore the new orientation space just directly behind me, please enjoy the Fresnel lens hidden away for many years in the museum lighthouse and the remarkable photography by Dave Harp and watercolor by Mark Castelli. And at the end of 2025, we will celebrate the opening of another new exhibition, Stories from the Shoreline, that will extend our storytelling, providing a sense of place, an even deeper sense of place, highlighting, highlight, highlighting changes to the environment and landscape, and exploring how humans interacted with the land and the water over time. This is what we're extremely good at and we're working toward even being even better at. Lastly, you cannot leave without exploring the new museum store, which is not only a terrific place to buy your seasonal gifts, but also houses vessels from our small craft collection, again, not been seen before. To all of you, my absolute heartfelt gratitude, and thanks everyone for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen, and I want to welcome to the podium our state delegate, Chris Adams, and state senator, Johnny Mounts, uh, for presentations of citations. Thank you for being here, both of you. Thank you very much, Pete. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. I'm on behalf of Tom Hutchinson and myself, uh, granting a citation from Annapolis, Maryland, on this, uh, this auspicious occasion. Uh, let me just say, Pete uh, and I met for the first time on, on campus here in 2015 after I was freshly elected. I shared with him I was a fifth generation, fifth generation Eastern Shoreman and wanted to hear more about the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. He let me tour the facility and we talked about uh, the plans and the visions. That was eight or nine years ago and it's hard not to see today this building and, and not see the vision uh, that comes from people that care a great deal about the Eastern Shore, but also the determination to do a thing. And today, they did a thing, and we should give them a round of applause for what they did here. It truly does define the Eastern Shore, the heritage that we enjoy. It's also the channel marker for which we gauge uh, our future. And we thank you for uh, this opportunity to uh, present the citation, which Chris and I believe we're going to uh, read the citation to you, and then Johnny will do the Senate version of the same. So with my glasses on, the Maryland General Assembly, this official citation, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum in recognition of the grand opening of your new Welcome Center. Thank you for your continued promotion of Maryland resources and for preserving the history of the Chesapeake Bay region, providing meaningful and accessible experiences for all presented on this second day of December 2023 by the Talbot County House Delegation, myself, Delegate Chris Adams, and Delegate Tom Hutchinson. Congratulations. Here's Johnny. <laughs> so that won't end. It's an incredible honor to be here today. Uh, Johnny Mount, State Senator, good morning, everyone. It's great to see you out. It's, you know, it's interesting with the weather. You, know, you wake up, we had this uh, uh, tremendous event where we launched the, uh, um, it's based on the name of the, the, uh, the skipjacks, uh, Edmund, Rosie Parks. Rosie Parks. Yeah. The Rosie Parks, who all here was for the Rosie? Were anybody here for the Rose launch of the Rosie Parks? That's right, that was an incredible day, and today is no less incredible. And it's funny, because we have the same weather. Uh, this music, you know, it is. It's the same, similar weather, it's the same time of year, and it's just such a special thing, the way the museum has planned a vision, and they followed that vision, and it's come, it's come to fruition. Growing up in St. Michael's, coming to this museum, I never once thought of a welcome center. I didn't really understand it until I went inside. So anybody, please take the time, go inside, and, and really, get the feel for what this offers to the campus. We have a contemporary new building with all this incredible history you know, preserved there. And then on the other side of campus, we have all these different things. This location is a spot in Maryland. It is a spot in Maryland and we built it right here on the shore and we're so proud to have it as part of District 37. 
for everyone here who's contributed to this effort, thank you for your energy, for your time, for your finances, everything you've put into this. It is a tremendous, tremendous accomplishment. And Kristen, we wouldn't be here without you. And it is just an honor to be able to present this citation. So with no further ado, I'm going to read uh, the resolution from the Senate. It, it goes, be it hereby known to all that sincerest congratulations are offered to the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum in recognition of the grand opening of the Welcome Center, this building represents Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum's noteworthy role in our state as it conveys the importance of Bay preservation and the heritage of the Chesapeake Bay region. It's presented this second day of December 2023, signed by myself. God bless you. Congratulations. And please join me in all, also in welcoming uh, for remarks here our, our uh, chairman of the Board of Governors, uh, Craig Fuller. Craig? Thank you all very much for coming out on this day. Uh, Johnny, Chris, thank you for your uh, recognizing the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum and for your tireless support of all we do here. It's much appreciated. You know, as I enter this building behind us, the Welcome Center, I almost think of it as a time machine. You enter in the present, you're immediately taken to the past, and you learn the rich history of Chesapeake Bay and on all of it, all of that it's about. And hopefully, you come away from that thinking very hard about the future. Because while we do focus a lot on the past, much of that is directed at trying to create an appreciation for just how valuable this whole Chesapeake Bay region is, not just to the state of Maryland and Virginia, but, but to the whole nation. And to be able to enter this Welcome Center and have that orientation that's all new for us because it leaves people in part of this 18-acre uh, campus that's different than it used to be, allows them to wander through the 18 acres and, and learn even more. So it's an exciting moment for all of us, as has been said. I have the great privilege of uh, working with the te this team here and holding this chairmanship position at the, on the day that this opens. But I'm very mindful that it would not have happened without the leadership of past chairs, past board members, remarkable staff over the years, and, a, and an especially remarkable team that's here today that's made all this possible. And most of all, it would not have happened without the vision and the energy and the drive that comes from our president and CEO, Kristen Greenaway. Kristen, thank you very much for all you did to make this happen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Craig. And uh, I also welcome to the podium uh, for, a, for a blessing, the Reverend Sue Browning, uh, minister at the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship of Easton. Reverend Browning. Good morning. Good morning. It's not Sunday, but tomorrow you can get up too. It's okay. Yes. I, before I just offer my remarks, I don't know how other folks have felt today, but was there some point where something caught in your throat? Something when the flag came by? When you heard Kristen? Often when ministers officiate at weddings and funerals, we have speakers that are coming, family members that are going to try to read something. They say, I don't know if I can do it. It's a memorial. It's a wedding. And I say, your voice is going to catch because it's coming from love. And this place is born of love. There is so much to take in today. This Welcome Center truly is a creation story. It so clearly reflects a labor of listening and learning and a deep commitment to stories. We take a moment to pause in gratitude for this new space. Just take that moment on this gray morning Take a moment to take in the beauty 
of the space, the nature, and the building. We take a moment to honor its commitment and the leader's commitment to inclusiveness. Take a moment to imagine the possibilities this will open in the years to come. We give thanks for all of the collaborative work, decision upon decision, detail upon detail, that are coming to fruition today. May all the leaders, the staff, and the teams who physically built the center feel the appreciation of the community. There is the potential to create deep connection and a better world by the creation of this space. I'm going to ask us all to offer the blessing together. I'll do the words part. But in the same way at the beginning of weddings, sometimes we ask the congregation to offer a blessing. I ask us all to put ourselves in that heart space in this moment. Together as a community, we bless this updated Welcome Center and share our care for all who will lead and visit in the years to come. May this beginning lead to more beginnings, more curiosity, and more connection in a world that desperately needs to know what connection and stories can do to heal the brokenness and to create joy, to create excitement, and to help this be a bay that we care for forever. What a wonderful day. Thank you, Kristen. Blessings. Thank you so much for those thoughtful words. Now, this is the moment. We are, we are no ordinary place. We are a maritime museum, and it seemed, it seemed somehow inappropriate to cut just a mere ribbon. And so we brought the hawser. And I want to invite uh, Kristen, who will, who has provided, you know, you don't cut a hawser with scissors. <laughs> we have found a more appropriate instrument for that. And uh, Kristen, as I have seen in the past, is an experienced uh, uh, axeman. So uh, she is uh, she is quite prepared uh, for this for this task. I will ask to. Uh, for our our uh, musician, our first musician here, who is going to come forward with her uh, for the for the hawser cutting. Uh, musician, this is Anthony Cannon, saxophonist, composer, band leader, and St. Michael's native, whose father was the last black waterman still working out of this harbor, and whose 1993 oral history is preserved in CBMM's archives and whose story is told in our oystering on the Chesapeake exhibition. In tribute to his father, Cannon now uses his father's nickname, Turk, as his stage name. So Kristen, Anthony, please come forward for the cutting. <laughs> I usually throw them. <laughs> All right. It's just for a warm up. All right. Uh, <laughs> Thank you all. We have proceedings throughout the day. This concludes our, our opening ceremonies, but we commence with music from, uh, from Turk Cannon and his band. <laughs>